No, 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 no. What's going on? Looks like we have a level six biological event. What does that even mean? Well, reports are coming in saying that there's a bipedal lizard rampaging through the streets of San Francisco. Eyewitness estimates put it at 120 to 150 meters tall. Okay, first of all, this is America. So you can take that metric crap and throw it out the window. And second, come on, a giant lizard. This is clearly a prank. It's probably the CDC guys trying to get us back for that super SARS scare we pulled last month. Well, actually, that was mostly you. Bup, 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 bup. Look, let's not point fingers, okay? Just get Jerry on the phone and we'll tell him, oh, you got us. Look, I'm getting reports from every form of law enforcement saying that there's a 150 meter, uh? 500 foot tall walking leviathan. Look. You're a scientist, right? That's what it says on your diploma that you hang in your office? Yes. Then surely you are familiar with the square cube law? Well, yeah, of course, but why don't you say it aloud so everyone else can understand? Okay, well, to put it very basically, as a shape grows in size, its volume grows exponentially faster than its area. So, if you had a six foot tall person, they would weigh, let's say, 200 pounds. But if you wanted a 500 foot lizard, that would weigh well over 100,000 tons. No animal could support that kind of size, okay? It would take one step and crush its leg. It wouldn't even do that, sorry, no. It would just collapse in on itself and you'd be left with a giant pile of lizard stuff. Well, that's a great theory and all. Scientific fact. But, what do you say about this? Oh, great, well, looks like the laws of physics decided to take the day off. Cool, super, awesome. Look at the size of that thing. How are we even going to defeat it? Um, probably pretty easily. What, you mean nukes? We can't nuke a whole city. Please. What is this, the 50s? That thing is big and slow and probably the easiest target to hit ever. Like, all you have to do is just blindly shoot in its general direction and you're going to hit it. Well, what if it has some super strong impenetrable skin? What? You sound like a second grader, man. Do you know what the army has? They have bunker buster bombs that can penetrate 20 feet of solid reinforced concrete. Just pop a couple of those into its kneecaps, and down it goes. But, you know what? Let's just say that it does have some magical bunker buster armor proof skin. Just shoot it in its eyes. They're like 10 feet in diameter. That's almost twice as wide as the thermal exhaust port on the Death Star. And you don't have to be a Jedi to make that shot. Looks like we're getting reports of a second monster. Another one? Are you kidding me? Oh. And this one flies. Well, I'm not even gonna go into the physics on this one. Well, actually, I think it would be able to generate enough lift. No, we're done here. I'm just gonna call the military, tell them to drop some bombs on these assholes. No. Let them fight. Are you kidding me? That is literally the worst idea I've ever heard. Why would we let two uncontrollable monsters battle each other in a densely populated area where there are millions of lives on the line? Because. It would look really, really cool. This man is a goddamn genius. Whoa! That was awesome! A lot of people are dying. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button over there to keep up to date on all of our latest videos. If you're already a subscriber, why don't you click on those videos on the right over there, see what else we got. And if you want to see some more Godzilla action, click that playlist below. Well, there's a giant monster attacking our city, so... Gotta go deal with that. Whoops, okay.